few spiritual entities in contemporary occultism have been subject for as much interest and ambiguity as Lilith. And none other than her managed to rise to become the word and consort of God himself from the station of a Middle Eastern malefic demoness of wind and illness. So much that in the 21st century we meet a Lilith that with ease assumed the label of vampire goddess, witch goddess, queen of debauchery, owner of the black moon, all the way up to popular culture where she was celebrated in the HBO series True Blood in a particular way encompassing everything, mystery, blood and witchcraft. She might be, as one him to her owner says, misty one, obscure one, who drapes serpents as your sterile whale, always remaining hidden within the stellar cracks, shimmering blue, holy one, defamed one, who walks the course of moon and sun in ways we cannot fathom. Divine seductress, breath of God, flesh of other, lay down in rabid obedience as you chain the stars in an even greater obedience. Rise through the soul of the world, rise into the night, for you are she, the cracks in the cosmic design that rain terror upon the soul of the world. You who bend down to need, you who bend down to perfection, you who bend down to no one, praise unto you in your self-deification, reverence to you, cosmic terrorist, word of God. Amen. Lilith is a complex force that delights in her own masquerade. Unlike most deities that need presence in order to affirm their existence, Lilith revels in absence. She is that shadow of all ideas. She is the idea in the moment it takes form, and hence she is the destruction announcing something new. It follows that Lilith, as a force, is present in every theorem and axiom where the mystery of destruction and creation unfolds. And so, the Canticles of Lilith is not a book about Lilith in history and mythology, but of course, this is also present. Rather, this book follows in the tracks of the Italian maestro Fulvio Rendell, and in the same way as he did, we strive to lay bare the Lilithian theme and reveal her atmosphere. The Canticles of Lilith is not a book, but is a song celebrating this amazingly mysterious force that is enigmatic on its own premises. As such, the Cantic Zolilith is a book that will deliver what is expected, but also go far beyond what you thought you would find in this book. And it will surprise many a reader with its cosmic musings and metaphysical exegesis, making this book a true offering onto this extraordinary and important cosmic force. Happy reading.